Hi guys, it's Luzikil and in today's video we will go through an in-depth tutorial on how to build a cave in your Serenity port function of Genshin Impact. Before we begin, I would like to thank YouTube user Citatel for commenting can I do a walkthrough about how to do a cave. The Some issues they faced was they could not make the roof of the cave or the buildings fit in there, don't know what buildings to put as well as have a hard time putting the buildings near the wall as they collided with the walls. Well, Citadel, I would like to inform you that you are not alone. These are also some of the problems that are faced when building this cave in the very first place. So stick around, and hopefully this tutorial will help you, Citadel, as well as anybody else who is having some issues building a cave in their teapot. So what do I mean by maximum height restrictions for boulders in the teapot? Let me show you what. First, I will open the grid. Alright, so I have all these lines. Okay, some of the boulders are one story high and some of the boulders are two stories high. So how high can you stack them up? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it seems that six is the highest you can go. Number seven would not go on. So 6 is the maximum that you can place a boulder, however, if you want to place something else, maybe a building or something, you still can. Right, you still can. It's just that for boulders wise, 6 is the maximum. So how does knowing the maximum height for boulders affect your cave? Let me give you a simple explanation. First I'll place uh, this one. This is the rocky bulwark, it's 2 stories high. Let me place a 1 story equivalent at the site for reference. Okay, then another story. So now we have four, two and two. Then a one story one. So we have five. And lastly, slumbering stresses. Now I will create the exact same structure on this side. Next, I will merge the, the roof of the cave. And there we have it. So assuming your cave is five stories tall in terms of its wall, meaning the roof will only have one story to meet up. That means that if you want a straight wall like this for 5 stories, this is the widest your cave can be. If you want to space it out more, sure. But there will be a gap on the cave and because number 6 is the maximum, right? You can't place one more to patch it up. The exact opposite is also true, let me show you. Let's say I start from a palace step 1 story. And then I stretch out with slumbering stretches. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. I'll do the exact same thing on this side. Now I'll make them meet up. So when it comes to moving borders, right, always move the base. That way the whole thing will move. Okay, so I'll make them meet up. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six levels, six stories. This is the widest your cave can be. Provided um, you are okay with having just one story over here. Conversely, over here, five story wall, this is the widest your cave can be. Most of the time I would want to put a building inside. So, usually the building itself is at least two stories. If I want to try and put a building here, nope, too, too, it's too short, only around here. Now I will go ahead and make multiple copies of, of these tall walls as well as some variants in between. And I'll just piece them together to show you how easy it is to build a cave. I'll be right back. And I'm back, <laughs> the power of editing. So over here we have some uh, rocks and boulders that I've already planned out. Let's have a look what we have. So right over here we have two rocky bulwark. And here right, we have two, one, two, three, four. Four stories boulders. And then over here we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times five story boulders. So with this right, with this, we will be able to make our cave. Uh, let's have a shot. 
Alright, so firstly I'll place this at the back This will be the back This one will be beside it Maybe like this So just a gentle reminder, all these are 5 stories high What that means is that I am still able to place one more rock on top In order to seal up the cave Okay Then this one I'll place it over here This one, I'll place it over here Okay, and then this one Over here Maybe it's a bit too uh, It's a bit too narrow We can afford for it to be more uh, Wide So I'll just do a bit of an adjustment Okay, and then this one I can Swing it out a little, push it out Alright So just a gentle reminder again 5 levels So what that means is I can do this Put another one here Another one here All these are on the 6th level, meaning you cannot put anything higher than this already Alright So just like that, just like this, very easily We've got a cave That is sealed Have a look so I'm not going to stop there, let me just add some more This one right, is 4 stories, 1, 2, 3, 4 And then this one Also 4 stories And lastly I'll make the so-called opening of the cave Using this simple piece And this one over here So the same thing goes Just use more slumbering stratus in order to cover up the cave That's done That is done Very very easy You don't have to worry whether there's holes in your cave or not I mean the ceiling, the roof of it And lastly here. And there we have it You already have a long cave And it has different levels So it's shorter on the front, lower on the front And the ceiling is higher At the end So let's uh, go for a save And let's have Zhongli Tour the cave You see? Very spacious inside And of course at the top All sealed up Okay, so the very next tip that I will talk about is Clipping, that's right, the second tip that I want to talk about is clipping Just a disclaimer, I did not come up with clipping I actually read about it on a reddit post by user Kjiron Kjiron has a great post where he teaches us all how to do clipping I will link the post in the description below So let's have a look Assuming I want to put a house inside the cave, right? So since we have made the roof, we'll, we'll have to zoom in so that we can see the cave, the interior So I want to put a house in the cave but because there's walls everywhere the collision box is red colour and this is exactly what Citadel has described we are unable to put the house inside In this scenario, clipping will help us a lot How do we do clipping? First, I want to put down some boulders to form the base 4 is enough Secondly, I'm going to put a house down On the base I do not want to put it smack in the middle Actually, I want to just flush it as much to the side as possible Alright, this looks good Now this is where the magic happens I'm going to remove all these boulders one by one Okay 
What this means is that the house has clipped onto this border. And by moving the bottom border, let me zoom in first. Alright, by moving the bottom border, look, the collision box is still blue. I'm able to put the house anywhere I want. This only applies if something is on a boulder because the boulders are the ones doing the work. Let me just put it here. Naturally, some of the house will merge together with the boulders as you can see over here. So you just have to adjust until you're satisfied. Let me look at the back. Oh, there's quite a lot of space here. I can bring it back a bit more. Okay, so let's say I want it to be like that. It's getting dark. Let me just change the time. Okay. And I want to put something else over here. I can still do so. You see? See this boulder? I place it here. Maybe I'll place one more over here. So that there's a kind of like a walkway to the house inside. Let's have Mrs. Zong Lee have a look inside again. There we go. The house inside the cave. Up to this point, we have covered how to create a roof for your cave so that there's no holes. We have also covered how to place houses inside so that the collision box is not red. And now we will cover what do you place inside. Assuming you have no idea what you want to place, I have two methods around it. Firstly, select your theme. Do you want to be from Monstead? Maybe something from Don Winery or Springville? Or do you want to be a Healy Show? Something like that? Or do you want to be an adventurer? Or maybe you just want to be from Liyue, like me. One of these. So what I want to tell you is that because what you are trying to place is not on a boulder, you will really have to respect the collision box of the items. Alright? How to make it easier is like this. Let me show you. Place it first, wherever it turns blue for you. And then, hover, you see? Uh-huh. Hover around the, the boulders and find out where is the collision box. Over here. We see it's over here, meaning that my house can go all the way there. Side by side, no problem. And at the back, almost touching. Okay? So just use a theme. Stick to a theme that you like. Another tip is to use furnishing sets. For example, like this. So, an uh, adapter's gate as well as two stone lions smack in the opening of the cave. Pretty impressive, right? So, let's have a look. One house on the first level, another house on the second level, all within the cave. Alright, we've come to the end of the video. I hope that this tutorial has helped you as much as I've enjoyed doing it. If you still want something to refer to or you just want to have a look at a cave, you can view my Liyue themed cave showcase in the card above. Secondly, if you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe as well as comment down below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone.